Andrew here, Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support. Okay, so in our mid-mark troubleshooting videos, we tell you to take the side panel off quite a bit. So um, when we're inspecting for leaks or burnt wiring or uh, PC board malfunctions, so on and so forth. So two, take off the right side panel we are going to first you're going to need a phillips screwdriver and then second we're going to need to unplug the unit from the back and then i would also unplug it from the wall discard the power cord aside um, and then we are going to take this panel off so again phillips screwdriver there's three screws there's one here we're going to loosen that one up There's one here, we're gonna loosen this one up. And there is also one, keep the screws, don't lose them. There's one right here. Okay, so bottom panel fell off down there. Sometimes they can be difficult to get off. Um, this one's working its way out fine. Okay, come on, make me look bad here. Okay, so there we go, finally. Okay, all right, cool. It's usually not that difficult, honestly. Uh, there's two tabs here that interlock in the bottom, and then you rise it up. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But now the right side panel is off. Now we can inspect for our leaks. Um, we can test components. We can go into service mode if we have to. We can do any number of things. So uh, that is how you take the right side panel off. Let's show you how to turn it, put it back on. Basically, there's two interlocking tabs here at the bottom. And they slide into the back of the, or underneath the bottom of the unit here. And then you got to interlock your piece back here. And then you bring it up like so and screw it in. Screw it in and then your right side panel's on. So, thank you for watching this video on how to take the right side panel off of Midmark. Stay tuned for more Midmark troubleshooting videos.